Hello and welcome to our webinar on how to build your cat verbal concepts. Now, firstly, I would like to welcome you guys to the beginning of a fresh cat season in a new financial year and a lot of people would now have started planning as to how they want to take cat in the next year or the next 6-8 months and so on. I believe a lot of you would have taken CAT in 2017 along with a lot of other exams. Some of you may have done very well, may have got calls but may not be so satisfied with your calls. Some of you may not have done very well as per your expectations 
or might not be satisfied with the kind of colleges that you might be getting so far so you would want to take cat again now obviously all of you need to prepare for the three distinct areas that are tested in cat that's basically verbal dilr and quant each of these require a lot of uh, sustained preparation and practice however having said that these can be done in the next 6 to 7 months very easily how do we go about this so firstly i would like to digress a bit and tell you that uh, this is the time we tell students to start preparing in terms of their concepts and the theory material that they have so for instance right now for you to see how the cat material is or how the verbal chapters are structured we actually dedicated this entire month to theory preparation and every single week or every single day you are going to get a few chapters available on the website which you can peruse through and actually solve so take your time go through these chapters and uh, try and solve the questions having said all of this let me move on to the important part of how to actually build your verbal concepts as far as cat is concerned so some of the common questions that students have and these questions do keep coming up in each particular webinar that i have taken or whenever i personally interact with students the first is how do we do rcs where do we solve them what are the ways to improve and we tell people read everybody in the industry or every faculty will say read so people say what do i read which kind which type of book how do i take out time i don't have time i'm i'm a working professional or i'm a student so i don't have time how do i improve my grammar and my vocabulary do i need to learn words now this typically comes from engineers who are preparing for gre gmat especially gre so earlier there used to be this entire psychosis where they used to say oh do i need to go to a barons and uh, you know learn the whole word list how many words do i learn in a single day all these kind of questions keep coming up all the time now for the people who are on the chat right now what i would say is uh, i'll give you a little bit of gyan right now but the best way in which this session generally happens is if you guys start putting in questions in the chat box next to the screen and i'll start answering them that is where the session really becomes interactive and it allows me to sort of you know give you very targeted answers in terms of your questions till the time till the time uh, there is a question coming in let me give you a few tips or let me give you my insights into what needs to be done Now, firstly understand that cat as an examination does not test your vocabulary having a good vocabulary helps so that is always like one of the fundamentals of english that a vocabulary tells you how a word is used what are its meanings what is its best application etc so vocabulary is a building block there is no need for you to really go and uh, you know learn 1000 words or 2000 words or 3000 words no you knowing these words will help vocabulary has to be joined with each other through the basics of grammar so grammar is something that should be definitely learned and when i say learned you need to go back and revise all the basics of grammar that you studied in school now typically what happens is a lot of students uh probably who are not from who are not done their schooling from an english medium or have done it from a vernacular medium have a limited exposure to grammar basics in their school level compared to people who have done their schooling from say the newer boards or from uh, convent schools etc that's again a perception but there is a bit of difference in terms of the grammar structuring and the knowledge of grammar 
so in that scenario i would say that because you have so much time available with you you should go back to your school level grammar books now obviously ren and martin is the the book to be referred for grammar but of course there is no point studying the whole of ren and martin okay what is important in terms of grammar is the beginning which is parts of speech stuff like noun adjective adverb verb etc followed by clauses phrases prepositions pronouns all these small small components of grammar i would say that you need to go back to your school level grammar books get all these rules in place in your mind again start making notes maths and grammar are two things where i would really recommend that you need to start making your own notes and write down points you know because everybody is not strong or weak in the same aspects of the uh, say english or grammar so you might found, find uh, nouns easier and verbs tougher to so make notes on that whatever pointers come to your mind start jotting them down in certain notebooks or diaries or wherever you want but start focusing on grammar वोकैबलरी आप चाहो तो थोड़ा बहुत पढ़ सकते हो बट एट द सेम टाइम द नेक्स्ट मंथ और सो दिस होल ऑफ अप्रिल कैन बी स्पेंड ऑन रियली स्ट्रेंथनिंग योर ग्रामर कॉन्सेप्ट एंड रीडिंग सो वेन योर ग्रामर बिकम स्ट्रॉगर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ रीडिंग बिकम्स बेटर वेन वी से रीड वॉट डू वी डू आई मीन you know people always say there is a difference between hearing and listening hearing is when the sound just hits your ear drums but listening is when you have absorbed the words that are spoken when you try and understand its meaning and then you you know sort of mentally process it and give a response similarly when you read you need to try and get into the skin of the book or the skin of the paragraph that you are reading So, एक होता है जहां पे वी रीड एंड स्किम थ्रू समथिंग वेरी क्विकली एट द सेम टाइम द अदर इज वेन यू ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यू आर रीडिंग एंड दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू ट्राई एंड डेवेलप राइट अवे सो इफ यू डू नॉट हैव अ रीडिंग हैबिट वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज स्टार्ट बाय रीडिंग लेट से अ कपल ऑफ आर्टिकल एवरी डे सपोज यू लाइक एंड इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट यू स्टार्ट बाय रीडिंग से एन आयन रैंड और मे बी say something like the fault in our stars or uh, the discovery of india or some you know heavy book really you can start by reading light novels as well there are a lot of indian authors who are now into what is called the uh, historical mythological genre lot of authors in the self help uh, pop romantic genre and they are indian authors so a lot of their english is very light to read now i am not recommending this from a grammar perspective understand this i am recommending this from a perspective of you sitting in one place and spending half an hour or 45 minutes trying to read one book or one particular novel or a story there are a lot of books which consist of short stories if you have a concentration problem what you can also do for example there are a lot of books on short stories available in the market for example uh, there is a very famous author called jeffrey archer so jeffrey archer has a lot of uh, novels written now there is a book called 12 red herrings which comprises of 12 short stories pick that book ek time pe ek story padho you know it probably take you half an hour or 45 minutes then the next day you can read another so aapka link bhi nahi tutega that is how you can do that or uh, a lot of us have heard of yumkesh bakshi or sherlock holmes you can pick up a sherlock holmes and try and read sherlock holmes good old english and uh, short stories again try and read all of you would have heard of satyajit ray so just as there is sherlock holmes in an english context there is a very famous character of satyajit ray called uh, feluda there is an entire compendium of books or stories available on feluda try and pick that up try and read that so you will get an indian context if you like international again uh, there are authors like uh, agatha christie who has a lot of crime based novels i would say avoid stuff like mills and moon that is literally trash so you can avoid that but a lot of short stories is what you can do suppose that is not your genre 
then whatever uh, you know whatever hobby you have can also be used suppose you like automobiles then auto car there is a magazine called auto car subscribe to it and try and read the articles every week if you like tech then there are there were magazine i don't know if it still exists there were magazines like digit try and pick up digit and try and read articles there but when you pick up an article read it in one sitting and then try and summarize to yourself as to what were the key parts of this article as a practice you could actually you know make a short note say ke mujhe is pe 10 points likhna hai 10 bullet points there is a presentation imagine it that way that there is a presentation that i need to make on this article of 10 bullet points so this presentation how do i make it pick up current affairs articles there are magazines like the week open international magazines like time if you are interested in geography pick up national geography or if you are interested in sports then go to the website of uh, you know reputed sports uh, providers like say crick info crick info has a lot of good blogs that are written so read those or if you like football there will be uh, espn matlab uh, fifa ke website ke alawa there will be espn star who provides their own analysis there will be a lot of providers in the english and uh, european context who provide their own analysis of sports so read those kind of articles end of the day when you make it a habit to sit in one place and read for 20 minutes initially then 30 then 40 your english will automatically improve that's one the other is you need to try and start using english in your normal conversation now nobody asks you to start using queen's english what is called the old british english you know words like the and thou and henceforth and uh, ways for and all of that no simple conversational english but please realize that there is a difference between the conversational english used on social media and the conversational english used in exams so they are very different you cannot use social media rules in terms of the exams so unless there is a passage on uh, social media lingo you cannot use you know uh, rofl and stuff like that in your in the passages or in the uh let's say in your practice that's basically what is called uh, very colloquial english theek hai once you've done all this probably a month or two down the line you can start looking at the same rcs from a question point of view what is the central idea what is the summary what, does the author support this does the author uh, argue against these all these things can come later right now the focus should be on two two things one your grammar basics have to be very strong so you might have to take tests also you might probably have to go back to your school teacher or somebody who teaches grammar and tell them aap mujhe sirf grammar sikhao main coaching class cat ke liye karne wala hu theek hai but aap mere ko 15 din grammar ka ek crash course karao mera grammar theek kar do that will probably help you a lot more going into the cat exam compared to other things so grammar is something you need to definitely work on rcs is something where you can really benefit by reading now what about words how many words should you do in a single day i would say that uh, if you feel that you want to practice them every day then not more than 5 to 10 words what i used to do uh, when i was doing my engineering and when i was preparing for gre what i used to do was uh, i used to open barrens and before looking at the meaning of the word i used to try and put my own meaning okay, okay what probably does this word mean then compare it with the meaning given in barrens and then create my own sentence for that word now remember that this is known as word usage how do i use that sentence does the sentence make sense and i used to do this three step process kahi pe agar mujhe meaning nahi pata to so, theek i leave it blank look at barren's meaning then try and explain it in my own way and then make a sentence and and i had like four notebooks filled with words of different different colors with some coding that i had ke mera meaning hai ye barren's ka meaning hai and all of that but that is how i improved my vocabulary 
secondly my reading habit probably i started from the age of 5 so i've been reading took from close to 30 years now okay more than that so it becomes a lot easier for me to read and absorb stuff faster if you don't have this habit you will not be able to do it in the exam as well pick this habit and it will really do wonders as far as not only cat ka verbal is concerned but also where cat ka dilr is concerned a lot of questions in cat come in the form of caselets and there is a lot of data there is a lot of language based uh, stuff that is given and you need to figure out how to filter out that data wo nahi ho sakta jab tak aapke you know aapka understanding of sentences is not very good as you start practicing you will realize that a good reading habit helps you not only in rc it also helps you in other question types in other exams such as close passages fill in the blanks fill in the blanks mein jaise aapko ek you know intuitive idea aa jata hai ki okay this type of word will get fit here or this type of word will be uh, most appropriate close passages again same logic jumbled sentences जहां पे यू विल कम टू नो के दिस इज हाउ अ पैराग्राफ इज स्ट्रक्चर्ड तो इसके बाद ये आना चाहिए इसके बाद ये आना चाहिए एंड सो ऑन पैरा समरी ऑल ऑफ दीज विल रियली स्टार्ट बिकमिंग स्लाइटली इजियर ऑफकोर्स यू विल नीड अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस बट दिस विल एक्ट एज अ बेस वॉट आर द काइंड नाउ कमिंग टू आर सीज एंड कमिंग टू टॉपिक्स देर वॉट आर द काइंड ऑफ आर सीज दैट यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस while we will discuss rcs much later again when the cat season really kicks off you need to know the kind of topics that cat has been using rcs from the general favorites have always been topics like sociology social issues philosophy psychology history geography then there was a lot of arts and culture politics etc now the trend has changed in the last 2 years or so and a lot of these topics are now current affairs based topics so it's not that there will be news from 3 days back but there will be news from research or there will be articles from research reports there will be articles from a blog somewhere and they'll be talking about uh, you know very easy to read topics earlier there were topics on philosophy or psychology jisme up आरसी पढ़ लो एंड यूल गो मैड के क्या है मुझे कुछ समझ में नहीं आया वेर इज नाउ एटलीस्ट द टॉपिक विल बी रीडेबल प्लस द आरसीज है स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग शॉर्टर सो लुकिंग एट इंटरनेशनल जर्नल्स रिसर्च रिपोर्ट मैगजीन लाइक एज आई सेड अगेन नेशनल जोग्राफिक डिस्कवरी देन टूरिज्म में वो क्या आता है देर इज दिस वेरी फेमस मैगजीन दैट इज देर कॉन्डेनाइस्ड है फ्रेंच मैगजीन है then there is a uh, some tourist planet or something i forgot the name but that magazine is there lot of current affairs based blogs on international websites like the economist washington post new york times uh, australia mein you have the sydney times all of these give you a very different perspective so try and read as many articles as many blogs opinion pieces on the internet as you can this will really help you in terms of reading a typical question that comes at this stage is i do not have enough time to read books now you know this is really like the excuse that i make when i am uh, working out and i say i don't have time to work out that is never the truth if you want you can always take out time to read i have observed this uh, you know trend very recently when i was doing my mba or even when i was working earlier i used to travel in trains and the people around me used to be reading something maybe a magazine maybe uh, a book or a newspaper or solving a crossword now what i see is everybody is stuck on to their mobile phones now of course some of them might be reading i'm not saying they're not reading but most of them most of them are using the data given by a lot of these uh, providers and watching movies i'm not passing judgment on that but the time that would have gone to 
read stuff is being used elsewhere use your commute time use your time when probably you are fresh in the morning read for half an hour read a newspaper it's absolutely okay uh, as i just mentioned you can start solving crosswords there are easy to solve crosswords there are difficult ones but the ones in the newspaper are definitely the ones which uh, you know can be touched to so start solving crosswords there are these anagram puzzles uh, like i am in mumbai so when i look at mumbai mirror there is this anagram based puzzle that appears every day try and solve that that will help your vocabulary again so do these small you know these small games small there is this game called hangman which is again important for vocabulary try and use that so these small puzzles small games will also help you increase your vocabulary rather than just using flash cards or just learning from a list of words that you have okay so broadly this is how you can split your time in terms of reading and uh, improving your vocabulary and grammar at this stage you should frankly be focusing only on two aspects grammar as well as reading later you can start moving on to questions now if you want you can start putting in questions uh, in the session and i'll start answering them one question that has come in come in from sandeep is how to comprehend a passage well my verbal ability is good but my rc is not good okay uh, sandeep has directly jumped on to rc in the exam uh, sandeep i'm tempted to tell you ki i'll answer this later but uh, what i'll tell you right now is that see in in the exam there is this dual pressure or i would say triple pressure one that we actually need to understand the rc and solve it two we are working against time there is a one hour window for cat to usme agar mere rc ko 20 minute lag gaya ek rc ko to main kya karunga so people try and do it faster and three we probably you know have mentally calculated that okay i am going i have to Uh, get 14 marks or 15 marks in RC. I have to get 10, 7 or 8 marks in the non-RCs. I have to do this. I have to do that, and so on. So this pressure. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Who was there? Yeah. Are you taking questions? Are you? Are you? Hmm. Are you alright, sir? Look, I am taking a shine there. Are we connect for any other thing? Yeah, sorry, we uh, had some tech issues, so we lost the connection. But as I was saying, uh, Sandeep, to answer your question again, if you want to focus on improving your RC preparation right now, what you need to do, as I said, is when you practice any RC right now, try and focus on five six areas. One, read the RC once, twice at least. having done that firstly for each rc that you practice write down at least two titles of your own that okay iska title ye ho sakta hai ya ye ho sakta hai create a summary of at least four to five sentences then go back to the rc and create a one line central idea of the rc that this rc talks about so and so so and so things bas it's like a conclusion in a gdpi that is the third point fourth try and uh, identify whether the author or what the author is trying to do is he trying to support a certain idea is he trying to reject a certain idea is he uh, demonstrating a theory etc now this is something very difficult to do but try and write whatever comes to your mind that uh, you know when we were in school we used to be given poems and Uh, in all languages and we were asked isme kavi kya kehna chahta hai or what is the author or poet trying to convey so try and think of that what is the author trying to convey in this particular rc and write it in your own words it's absolutely okay it could be right it could be wrong but ye teen char cheeze har bar practice karo and then you can probably discuss it with your tutor or your faculty or your friends who are practicing with you that will help you improve your understanding of the rcs you can even do it for articles and blogs that you are reading it is absolutely fine 
okay so that should help you improve your rc skills it will also happen more and more as you practice the rc chapter tests from whatever material that you have the chapter test section test the full length mocks etc jaise jaise aur practice karoge it will automatically improve your fanindra's question is which one is better between ip hyderabad and itm navi mumbai uh fanindra frankly this is out of the scope of this discussion but i would say that uh, itm navi mumbai has a slightly better reputation so i mean if you don't have any choice and are and are desperate to do an mba this year then maybe yes otherwise i would say that it's always better if you uh, take another attempt rather than going to a below par college this year okay so guys uh, most of you who were there online i have given you a lot of basic information which was required for verbal at this stage of the process what i would suggest is i'll take a couple of minutes ka break tab tak whoever wants can start typing in questions if you guys don't have questions uh, i'll call it a day today and see you again a few days later when we have our dilr webinar but if you have questions i'll take a break for a minute or so and you can start putting in your questions Uh, hi shubham what is your question well okay so uh shivam in terms of overall in terms of specific improvement we would actually need to go back to your mocks or uh, look at your mocks this year and analyze which specific part of english section you are struggling with that will probably happen much later at this stage i would say that if you are getting 60 and 40 percent tile possibly in these two exams there has to be a, a lot of you know improvement that is possible in terms of the basics i would very strongly recommend that one you take out this entire month it's absolutely okay you can always practice more questions later you can take five mocks less that is always okay but i would suggest that you go back to grammar go back to maybe your faculty or tutor or whoever and focus on improving your grammar as much as possible in this particular month go to a uh, you know in this entire month of april focus on grammar for example right now on the website itself my english chapters are available for free so go and look at these grammar chapters there are some 17 chapters that are there only for grammar go to these chapters read them practice the questions if you have some other material that is also okay but in general you need to focus on grammar right now the other habit that you need to put up is that every single day you need to spend at least 30 to 45 minutes sitting at one place and reading stuff and after that you need to ask questions as to whether i have understood what i read it's not just ki maine pad liya you don't have to just read 3000 words no understand that try and ask yourself question what is this article trying to say what are the points in this article can i argue against this article etc okay uh hi bala your question is which newspaper should i read so bala any newspaper that you subscribe to but uh, in general people say that uh, see the hindu times of india indian express have all good all have good editorial teams 
okay uh, again i think there used to be this newspaper called uh, the economic and political weekly that was also reasonably good so you can look at these live mint is a good live mint is a good example uh, or a good place to read from eco times is again uh, good so these two are reasonably good eco times tends to get a bit heavy so agar aapko wo cheez gradually karni hai ki you want to read something heavy in terms of finance and business and all you can go to eco times later live mint is reasonably okay there are a lot of online portals now which provide good news based content so there is a website called first post then uh, see there are a lot of these websites the problem with them is that a lot of them have political uh, inclinations so there are some which are very clearly aligned to uh, right wing media there are some which are very clearly aligned to left wing media okay so if you want to read those i would say try and read both rather than reading one because you read one then uh, you know your opinions might get colored by any one of them so on the right wing media side and i am taking a political stand and saying here on a right wing media side you could probably go for uh, this website called swarajya.org which has better english there are a lot of websites but a lot of them do not have good english so uh, swarajyamag.org ya aisa kuch hai that is reasonably good on the left wing side फेसबुक पे आपको मिलेगा देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड द लॉजिकल इंडियन विच इज विच इज रीजनेबली गुड स्क्रोल इज रीजनेबली गुड क्विंट इज समथिंग विच आई वुड नॉट रेकमेंड द इंग्लिश इज गुड बट दे आर एक्सट्रीमली बायस्ड सो दीज टू और थ्री इज समथिंग वुड आई वुड से देन देर आर दीज फेसबुक बेस्ड यू नो पोर्टल्स और आई वुड से आई कीप गेटिंग दीज आर्टिकल्स फ्रॉम प्लेसिस लाइक स्कूप वूप एंड बस फीड but they are all more of time pass rather than actually serious reading so i wouldn't recommend that on the sports side as i mentioned earlier crick info crick buzz espn star uh then channel 9 is a good source sky sports is a good source on the history side go to the official website of channels like uh, history then there is this channel called epic but epic might not have will have video content it will not have text based content so discovery is good history is the there's something called the history channel so history channel is good discovery is good then uh, nat national geographic is good i mentioned condé nast earlier condé nast is good uh, for tourism then uh, on the economic side on the political side you can look at open if it still exists you have time you have uh, the week you have news week all of these can really uh, help your reading so lux uh, love i believe this also answers your question when you said should i start reading novels or just reading articles and newspapers yeah so uh, novels is again something you can read it depends on what kind of novels do you like so my recommendation to all of you would be please do not start by reading something that you don't like main aapko bol dunga discovery of india padho ab aapko politics mein interest hi nahi hai to aap wo book 10 minute mein rakh doge now as i told people earlier in the webinar i've been a reader since 30 years and i picked up sarwan rush the one day and i kept the book aside after four pages after that i have not touched a sarwan rush the book now somebody might say are you know you are not reading sarwan rush the but i can't relate to it so if you feel that a certain genre is something that you like start reading that for example there are i have friends who like medical thrillers so then they read a lot of robin cook I have friends who like uh, nautical thrillers you know sea based and water based thrillers then there is somebody called Clive Cussler you uh, if you feel that you like the histo mythological genre then apart from Dan Brown i mean on the indian side you have people like Amish Tripathi you have Dan Brown 
uh, you have this guy that Immortals of Melua Vara entire series. Chanakya's Chant is a good book. So those can be read. So you you want non non fiction in an Indian context. Uh, again, keeping any political affiliation aside, read Shashi Tharoor. Shashi Tharoor is a very good writer. Read Arun Shauri. Arun Shauri has written three four excellent books. Books like Worshipping False Gods and all of that. So read that. Those are very very good books. If you like sports, then there are some very good biographies and autobiographies in the market. So there is a very recent one by Saurav Ganguly. Then there is a Playing It My Way, Sachin Tendulkar. There is Steve Wozniak's Steve Wozniak's book. There is Yuvraj Singh's autobiography. Then you uh, have, I think, there is one on Lance Armstrong. So lot of famous sports stars and sports people have their biography, autobiography available now. Read those. So start with something that you like. Okay. Uh, again, in the entertainment industry, there are books that are pretty light to read, but they can actually like. Uh, I I have seen biographies of I think uh, there was this autobiography of Rishi Kapoor, and I saw one on Amrish Puri a uh, long time back. I don't recollect it now. Then there'll be a lot on Hollywood actors. There it could be somebody you like maybe, and you could read those. So the if you like espionage thrillers, then there's Robert Ludlum, Frederick Fawcett. There's what is called pop uh, pop reading. Then you have Sidney Sheldon. So these are all uh, pretty. If you want legal kind of books, so मतलब legal fiction, so John Grisham है. John Grisham पढ़ सकते हो. Okay. So uh, Nelson Demil is a very good author. Nelson Demil is something you can try and read. On the serious side, now if I move, start moving towards the philosophical, psychological side, then Ayn Rand is a hot favorite. Atlas Shrugged, Fountain Head. But you have to read further. If your reading habit is not good, then please don't start now. Don't think about it. Okay, that is something you can read. Uh, then there are these, uh, you know, pop psychology kind of books. Um, the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. then uh, this who will cry when you die these kind of books there is a, i forgot the name of this author there is this indian author who writes books on banking fiction ravi subramanian and uh, he has a lot of these books bankster if god was a banker and all of these books are very easy to read so if you want you can start reading those books those are also and He has pretty interesting plots, so that is something you can try. Okay, so these are certain books you should definitely read. Having read that, uh, and for that matter, if you like reading, आपको भी reading का शौक भी करना है ना? I have seen people in my office and elsewhere reading books in their mother tongue as well. There are a lot of excellent books. आप अगर आधा घंटा English पढ़ते हो और आधा घंटा कुछ अपने mother tongue में भी पढ़ते हो तो भी ठीक है देर आर क्लासिक्स इन मराठी गुजराती सो मेनी इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस क्या उसको भी थोड़ा पढ़ो कि आपका कॉम्प्रीहेंशन स्किल्स सुधरेगा इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंग्लिश क्लासिक्स आई वुड से ऑथर्स लाइक आदर कॉन एंड डॉइल विच इज बेसिकली शर्लॉक होम्स देन यू हैव द फ्रेंच ऑथर जूल्स वन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड लीग्स अंडर द सी काउंट ऑफ मॉन्टे क्रिस्टो All of that. So there is this entire list of classics that you will get on, uh, you know, in crossword or uh, uh, landmark or, or or all of these big stores. उसको आप prefer कर सकते हो. So pick up these kind of books and उसका mix पढ़ने की कोशिश करो. आगे जाके chance मिलता है तो there is Hitler's autobiography called May Kaf. Read that. There is Napoleon Bonaparte's biography. Try and read that. There is a uh, Subhash Babu. That is Subhash Chandra Bose's biography by I think his granddaughter. Read that. That is a good book. My experiments with truth. Mahatma Gandhi. Mandatory reading. Uh, Discovery of India. Pandit Nehru. Mandatory reading. Okay. So these are the kind of books that you should be reading. There is one. I don't know if you will be able to find this. 
but there is this entire compendium of books on uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji and the Maratha Empire by this researcher called Sir Jadunath Sarkar, very very reputed guy, old guy, but वो शायद libraries में ही मिलेगा. If you can read that, that is excellent reading. So that is something you should try and read. Read up on Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Again, good reading. So these are uh, you know various biographies, personalities that you should read up on Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King. मदर टेरिजा सो सोशल एस्पेक्ट भी वहां पे आ गया तो ये सारे लोगों के बारे में पढ़ो आपका बहुत सारा रीडिंग एंड पर्सपेक्टिव भी सुधर जाएगा ओके शुभम से आई हैव नॉट टेकन कोचिंग एंड नॉट प्लानिंग टू टेक दिस ईयर टू आई टेक थ्री फोर मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज शुभम अगेन दिस इज अ वेरी पर्सनल डिसीजन वॉट आई मीन यूर इज दैट यू यू नो यू नीड टू टेक वॉट एवर सूट योर शेड्यूल एंड योर लर्निंग स्टाइल द बेस्ट If you feel that every day you can work on your concepts and spend two hours preparing or studying, then you don't need coaching. Secondly, three to four mock tests might not really help you. The average number of mock test series taken by people is two, and it generally suffices. If four people, you will get a lot of breadth in terms of the mock test series. You will not get depth. However, again, that is your call. What is extremely important. is not how many mocks you take but how you analyze each mock so mock analysis will come much later but i would say two mock test series maximum three is fine four would be overkill or bala's question is when i read long articles i seem to get lost in the middle of the passage uh by the way shubham has come back with andrea gassi yes open i think his book's name is open that's again good so uh, bala to answer your question ye mere sath bhi hota hai after so many years of reading i tell you this year cmat i was taking and i was reading rcs and i fell asleep in the middle of the rc and i lost ki kya ho raha hai so then you have to break it into paragraphs and try and understand what you are reading there are long articles break it into paragraphs try and isolate each paragraph and read it gradually start reading longish articles 200 word ka padho फिर 300 वर्ड पे जाओ फिर 500 वर्ड पे जाओ फिर हजार वर्ड पे जाओ और वेन यू आर रीडिंग अ बुक यू कैन डू दैट इजीली कि इन अ बुक इनिशियली रीड जस्ट टू टू थ्री पेजेस एंड ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड के अच्छा इसमें क्या क्या था समटाइम्स यू नो दीज नॉवेल्स आर ऑल्सो डिवाइडेड इन टू चैप्टर्स तो दो चैप्टर्स आर सेवन एट पेजेस लॉन्ग तो टू थ्री पेजेस के बाद सेवन एट पेजेस पे जाओ देन ट्राई एंड रीड फिफ्टीन पेजेस एट अ टाइम दैट इज हाउ यू बी एबल टू प्रैक्टिस uh ankit's question is doesn't speed reading hinder the comprehension of the content of the paragraph so ankit it does it could happen if i am trying to read very quickly without understanding a lot of people see it's like driving i have seen a lot of people i i drive a two wheeler as well as a four wheeler i have seen a lot of people driving two wheelers at insane speeds cutting through lanes and still managing their balance if i were to try and do so i would probably meet with an accident okay so here the analogy is that if i try extreme speed driving on my activa i am going to crash but if somebody is it is that is an expert he could still crash but he has the expertise to try and navigate it similarly if you feel that speed reading does not help you it's okay to go slightly slower you can maximize your uh, marks in terms of better understanding in that passage <coughs> you do four passages and get 60% accuracy is equivalent to doing three passages and getting 90% accuracy so if you feel that speed reading doesn't help you it's absolutely okay you can go and work on better comprehension of the passage uh love's question is he wants to join the cat mock test series so when is the test series starting so love uh, the good news for you is that the first mock is going live day after tomorrow which means basically tomorrow midnight so you can access it any time from thursday to 31st march next year so it's like there is a release date for the mock after the mock is released it any mock is available from that date till 31st march 
but please keep in mind that you have only one attempt for that mock so whenever you want to take a mock please be in, uh, please assure yourself that you are prepared for it aise mock khol ke chalo dekh lete i guess the free mock has multiple attempts so the the first mock that will go live is a free mock so that has multiple attempts so usko aap try kar sakte ho but the later paid mocks have a single attempt what i would suggest is uh, rather than me talking too much about that right now you should contact a support team maybe after this webinar and they will guide you okay yeah any other questions guys have i missed anybody's questions okay uh, one thing which i mentioned earlier so people who join late i would suggest that to improve your english start conversing in english with people it could be people at home it could be your friends it could be your uh, colleagues anybody start talking with them in english whenever you can that will really help your uh, you know language skills understanding skills you'll start thinking ki acha mujhe kya bolna hai now even right now when i have to speak with you all i i have to keep thinking constantly what words do i use how do i frame my sentences etc and i'll tell you why speaking in english is extremely important uh, a lot of us have done our schooling in non english medium plus a lot of us come from family backgrounds where our mother tongue is not english so we grow up thinking and speaking in our mother tongue so what happens is you know you probably you will be able to relate it yourself or you will know somebody who does this people tend to think in their mother tongue and then literally translate each word of the mother tongue into english so the grammar goes for a toss okay there is nothing wrong with thinking in your mother tongue it's absolutely fine but if you don't want your grammar to go for a toss you need to speak in english wo pehle galti hogi pehle sentence bahut ajeeb sa sound hoga lekin jab aap usko use karna shuru karoge the more you start speaking you will realize ah this is not sounding correct so ask somebody what would be the right way to express this initially you will express it in very long sentences then when you say it twice thrice when it becomes part of your normal vocabulary every day you you will start expressing it in shorter and more concise sentences so your language will improve the words that you will use will improve all of that will happen later so the key things are reading as a habit like exercise every day for 30 to 45 minutes if possible more speaking in english at a conversational level not using too much of sms lingo or what is basically called chat lingo in terms of now again see this is the mistake that i made when i say chat lingo lingo is the wrong word it should be chat language but because chat tha to maine wo naturally ghus gaya chat tha to lingo bola not using that kind of language in proper formal communication or in emails or in uh, any any kind of formal communication then trying to understand what passage you are reading trying to read a variety of content on various issues you know if uh, bala said i read long articles i seem to get lost i would say even if you like maths na bala go to wikipedia type pythagoras theorem and you will feel a match say mujhe acha lagta i'll read it and halfway through you will get lost because it's given in such a technical language but wikipedia is again a good source because it has long articles on a lot of things plus what it does is because it has this concept of tagging various uh, keywords you can jump from one thing to the other second thing to the third now suppose let's say suppose you are reading about sachin tendulkar there will be some tag which talks about roger federer okay they are friends so aap roger federer pe click karoge udhar chala gaya wahan se aap tennis pe ja sakte ho wahan se aap कहीं से फरारी पे जा सकते हो यू कैन कीप जंपिंग टू सेवन एट डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स एंड रीड दैट वे इट रियली यू नो बूस्ट योर ब्रेन पावर एज वेल इवन वेन यूर रीडिंग मैगजीन दिस इज अग एडवांटेज वन आर्टिकल लेट्स से वेन यूर रीडिंग से टाइम 
one article on time or in time will be let's say on politics the next might be on entertainment the third might be on sports so that is something which will boost your brain power because you have to constantly switch mindsets ki ab main politics ke bare mein pad raha hu ab main sports ke bare mein pad raha hu i just remembered a very good source i don't know how relevant it would be today uh, go to your raddiwala go to any uh, raddiwala near your house or any old library near your house and ask him for readers digest there you it used to be a very very famous magazine earlier and get 10 12 copies at one go extremely good english extremely good articles आपका बहुत इंग्लिश सीधा सीधा वहीं से सुधर जाएगा अंकित क्वेश्चन इज आई डू लव रीडिंग नॉवल सो विल दे हेल्प येस इंग्लिश येस अंकित दे विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प सो इट्स नॉट दैट रीडिंग नॉवल्स विल नॉट इनकल्टेट समथिंग न्यू इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी बिकॉज इट विल इंप्रूव योर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एज वेल एज योर कॉम्प्रीहेंशन इफ यू लाइक रीडिंग नॉवेल्स आई एम श्योर यू वुड बी पार्शियल टूअर्ड सर्टन जॉनल so now if you have a reading habit try and experiment with genres if you read let's say thrillers try and read a bit of romantic book uh, novels or try and read something which is non fiction for some time uh, another book that i just remembered is something heavy reading something on psychology the book's name is the interpretation of dreams it is by a very famous psychologist called sigmund freud so this is something uh, you should try and read then there are other classics like uh, writers like edgar allan poe you can read that that's a bit on the horror side to wo bhi acha hai there stephen king wo bhi pad sakte ho to ye sare uh, authors padho that will really help you yeah so uh, guys if there are no more questions i'll call it a day at this stage and i would say that uh, it's early time of the season right now so good time to start revising your grammar start revising your concepts you can go and check the chapters on the website and start practicing grammar from there apart from that any other material that you have you can definitely practice it you can uh, start reading stuff feel free to get back to us if you have questions and we'll be very glad to help you out thank you so as i said this entire uh, you know concept of giving you a chapter is there for this entire month so please visit the website every day and uh, get a new chapter every day okay so wish you all the best do well